Welcome everybody to the video cheat sheet uh, for configuring a BGP peer to send a community. There is no baseline show commands to do. There are no debug commands to do that I know of and I couldn't find any. We're going to be customizing the, the BGP peer to send a community and then also then at the end we'll be doing a verification show command of what the running config looks like uh, for the neighbors that we configure. Let's look at the network topology. We're going to be configuring uh, throughout the entire network the send community feature for a BGP peer. This can be done between eBGP peers and also for iBGP peers and actually it's a good thing to configure it on all your peers so that uh, not only for uniformity but if you ever want to use communities and the configuration guide will explain what communities are and they, they're, they're quite handy. Um, you want to have all your BGP speaking routers to be able to advertise and receive communities so that you can do things with them whether it's it's uh, making decisions uh, whether it's setting BGP features or whether they're just uh, informative communities uh, they can all be quite handy so you want to set this for all of your neighbors uh, throughout your autonomous system so let's go ahead and get started the, the way you do this is uh, you do IPBGP new format so that you can use the new type of formatting for communities which is the autonomous system colon and then some number. Um, the, once again the configuration guide will explain how all this works and I'm not going to go into all that in great detail right here. Underneath the, your router BGP configuration you specify the neighbor just like we have with the description just like we have with next hop reachability and then you specify the send community feature so let's go ahead and do that and let's configure router one to be able to send communities to both the eBGP these two eBGP peers that it has Alright, so now that we've done that, let's go and just look at the, the running configuration real quick to verify that the commands took. And we have our output from the show run pipe begin router BGP. And here is our neighbor send community on both the neighbors that we configured. So those that was for eBGP peers. You can also configure it, like I said earlier, for iBGP peers, and it's it's a very good thing to do that. So let's go ahead and configure router 2 to send a community to its route reflector here in Autonomous System 1 and then also across that eBGP session over to router 1. Before I hit enter here, I want to show you there's several different things that you can uh, do with the SYNC community. You can send a, an extended community attribute or a standard community attribute individually or you can do what we're doing and just say you know what just just have the functionality to send both and once again I'm not going to go into detail of what these two are the configuration guide will go into detail of what these two are so I have configured router 1 to send a community to router 2 and to router 7 and then I've also configured router 2 to send a, a community to its route reflector and which is an IBGP session or an IBGP neighbor and then also to an eBGP neighbor. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the network real quick and then I'll pick you up on the back side when I'm done. Okay so I've gone through my network and every single router that has an a BGP session whether it's IBGP or eBGP that it now has the capability to send a, com a community to that neighbor. I then finished up here with router 7 to send communities to its eBGP peers and I'm going to do a show run pipe begin router BGP. Alright and as we can see the send community both neighbor feature is there for all of its peers. So that is how you customize a BGP peer to send a community. We customized the peer and then we did a show run pipe begin router BGP to make sure that the command took. This feature can be enabled on IBGP peers or eBGP peers and I recommend that you do it throughout your entire network.